What's up guys, Shane, Small Town Exotics. Today we're taking a look at how to ID banana in your ball pythons. I know that sounds crazy, but cue the intro and dive on in. So what's up guys? This is Shane, Small Town Exotics. If this is your first time here, go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe, and do something with that notification bell. So today we're gonna take a look at how to ID banana in your ball pythons. And I know this sounds crazy, banana is a very strong overpowering gene, which totally changes the look of a snake. But what if you have a blue-eyed Lucy, or a purple passion or something? You wouldn't see the banana, right? Well, there's a couple ways to tell, and today that's what we're gonna look at. So let's jump on over and see what we're working with. All right guys, all three of these snakes had the same dad, so there's banana in the pairing. Now, do you see banana in any of these snakes? There is banana in one of them. So how do you tell? Well, first of all, get a good idea by sexing them because my banana male is a male maker. So, this one, the Blue-Eyed Lucy, this is a Mojave Russo, is a female. This one right here is a Purple Passion that is a male. And this one right here is a Purple Passion and I believe Black Pastel, which is a female. So, I would tend to believe this one would be Banana, but you don't see Banana in it. You don't see any typical yellow banana type coloring in this snake. So is there another way to verify this? In fact, there is. There's a good little article on Morph Market from a breeder that produces a lot of blue-eyed Lucy's where there's banana in the pairing. So I'm gonna show you how that works right now. Okay, so there is the flashlight test. And this is going to be hard to get on camera, but we're going to try to do this together. See, when you shine the light on the head, and see how only the pupil illuminates red? That is a non-banana. So if you can see that, only the pupil illuminates red on this snake as well. I know it's hard to see. Now let's get the one that I'm saying is banana. See now, if you look at this snake, see how the whole iris, you know, the whole entire eyeball illuminates red. And the two non-bananas the blue in the eye blocks the flashlight and only the pupil illuminates red. And this one, it just makes it a little bit darker, but the whole thing illuminates red. So I know that was hard to see on your end through the camera, but there is a great article on Morph Market, which I will link in the description down below, where it shows a great picture of a banana versus a non-banana in blue-eyed leucistics and how the whole eyeball thing is different. So when you shine a light on the top of its head, like in between the eyeballs, if it's not a banana, the blue in the eye will actually block the light and all that will shine out red is the pupil. In the banana version of a blue-eyed Lucy, the whole eyeball turns red. And yeah, you see a little bit of color from where the blue is, but you'll see the difference right away. And then if you know you got a male maker or a female maker banana, you know, whichever sex they are, that confirms that too. So out of those three snakes that we dealt with, two of them are female. The blue, uh, the blue part of the eye actually blocks the light. And then the male, from the male maker banana, the whole eye shines red. So I'm gonna hold him back and breed him out just to prove it on my end because that's the only way to be totally sure. But in my books, that is a banana purple passion. So I scored on that little guy. All right, now let's get into the shout outs of the week. Got some piles of merch going here. First of all, shirt shout out DMJ. Thank you, brother. Love the sleeve logo. Gives me an excuse to show off the guns. 
Definitely not slacking on the back. Thank you, Chino. Love the shirt. Fits great, brother. Now, new stuff that we got. Got some stuff from uh, my buddy Tony over there at Hardwired Exotics. Man, check out this new shirt. Front design matches his job cart that you see in his videos with the HWE on the back. Sick shirt. And he even went a notch above and made stickers that match the shirt. Great job, Tony. You guys uh, should all know who Tony from Hardwired Exotics is at this point. So if you don't, jump on over there. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Next, another brother from over in that area. Got the O'Malley's Morphs. That's the back. It's got the belly rocker on the front. O'Malley's. Sick shirt. Thank you, Matt. He's got a YouTube channel as well, so jump over there. Subscribe over there. Go follow him on Instagram. Great guy. Does ball pythons and short tails. Got some cards from him. And, oh, these are new stickers. I don't have this kind. Slight variation on his normal design. Thank you, Matt. And we got No Limit Royals. Thank you, Jerome. Go give him a follow on Instagram. And he is not slacking on the back. Go follow him, No Limit Royals. He's got a few designs, uh, different colors on his logos. I chose purple. Purple's one of my favorites. Thanks, Jerome. I will wear this with pride. And he was actually at the monkey party with me, so uh, good dude. Now let's get on to the stickers. So this is from Stephanie and Jay, Scyther Serpents. And they sent me a few stickers. Big shout out to Scyther Serpents. They sent us a thank you card saying uh, they love our collection and our YouTube channel. Wish, wishing us the best of luck. Well, thank you, Stephanie and Jay. Right back at you. Best of luck to everything. Next one is More Balls. They sent a personalized letter as well. They love watching the channel. Sending us the best wishes. Dom and Katrina, more balls. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Always appreciate the support. Here's my buddy Avi Zobel from Israel. And he has already sent us stickers before, but in my ignorance, I put them on my door upside down. So he sent me replacements. And there is all the QR codes for all his social medias. So this is the correct direction. So thank you, Avi. I will stick this on my door in the proper direction. I apologize. Here's his other version. And he sent me a little one too. Thank you, Avi. Next, we got Andrew from Gato Pythons. Man, this is a cool logo. Sent me different variations. Oh, this one says glow in the dark. Way cool. Gato Pythons. Really like that logo. Very nice. I will stick this glow in the dark one up somewhere. And I even got a magnet. We love magnets over here. Thank you, Andrew. And last, but not least, Mary Pythons and the Holy Balls. Definitely go over and check out her YouTube channel. We love Mary over here. She is a great supporter of everyone in the community. Oh, and the Holy Balls now has his own sticker. So they are two accounts. It's a couple, Mary Python, and then the husband's the Holy Balls. Mary Python and the Holy Balls. And man, like I said, Mary is always supporting everyone in the community. Mary wrote a heartwarming letter. Thank you, Mary. 
and we've swapped before but she wanted to swap again and of course you know I'll do whatever Mary wants so thank you for always supporting us Mary and we are looking forward to more videos and content on your channel as well and thank you for the reswap girl so that wraps up this episode I hope you were able to see the banana eye light trick and you can always tell by sex in them too and that'll give you a good indication of if they're a banana or not so thanks for all the merch and gear big shout out to everyone that sent stickers and shirts and all that stuff we love you all hit the subscribe button share with your friends until next time guys from shane and the snake pit small town exotics rock on